Hello all and welcome back to Icarus with me, Ironside McCall, here at Ironside Games. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can guess by the, the thumbnail and the title of this video, Graduation, we are indeed graduating as I see it and moving away uh, from the beginner aspect now of this survival guide. And the reason for that is, um, just as we are admiring our lovely barn, um, oh, just a quick um, recap as well. Uh, we've got Bill here. He is our superb uh, um, buffalo who is um, just ridiculously tough. Um, and he's got all the health, all the stamina going for him, all the resistances. He's got the cart, can basically carry anything that we need. Um, so that is what he's currently being used for all of our mining runs. Uh, and then we've got Ricky here. Uh, this was a name put down by a, uh, a commenter. Um, as soon as the name Ricky came into uh, on the comments, I am immediately went to Ricky Bobby. Um, if you know the reference, awesome. Uh, because he is a, a speed demon, the mowers. They are the quickest of the mounts. So I went straight to Ricky Bobby. Um, so this is now Ricky, our mower. Um, he, he will be used for all of our operations and getting around the entire map a lot quicker. So he's going to have a, um, a slightly different build to, uh, to build over here to start with so he can get us around um, a lot quicker. Um, and yes, the reason why we have now graduated is because we are level 31, which means we are in tier 4 of the tech tree which means we know what we're doing you know what you're doing you know where you should be investing your blueprint points and we've gone through um, how to invest your talent points up to this point the rest of it is entirely how you want to go how long you want to stay in a specific tier and indeed um, how you want to make your build so I'll go through quickly just what I have been doing uh, and we'll start with talents um, and we will open up on the survival. So I've gone all the way down to seasoned logsman. A must, must get. And as soon as we take Bill out in the car, the amount of wood that we can collect is ridiculous. And it is super, super quick. Highly recommend getting seasoned logsman as soon as you can. It saves you a lot of time. Um, and we've also gone for dense packing and carry on and we will get the next point um, as soon as we can for that. So we can carry more and if we do get over encumbered, it's not so much um, of a penalty. Hunting, we've obviously gone for more stamina and um, more bone collecting because we need um, all of the bones for our epoxy. So as much as we can get with that one. And I've also started along the cooking and farming where we get better food effects and food duration. Um, and the next point we are able to get our food pyramid. So we get that very valuable fourth slot in our stomach for another food buff. And we have got um, fresh is best. So when we start to do our farming, our crops will not die on us. So that's where we've gone um, with the survival. Adventure, still nothing. Habitation, um, I've gone for discount stone and discount glass because um, we're going to be using an awful lot of brick. So and it's very expensive to make stone brick. So I'm going down this route to try and make it a little bit easier. And I'll explain about that in a moment. Um, and combat wise, we are all ready for our shotgun boost because of course we are level 31 we have unlocked the trench shotgun haven't made it yet um, but we are already good to go with that so we've got the best buffs for the shotgun so any other talents we can then spend elsewhere um, and we have maxed out all of our bow damage as well so they are my normal talents and solo wise we've obviously gone down the bottom for lone wolf so we get more experience so it's not so much of a, a bother now to have the food that gives you experience but if you can focus on the health and stamina food and there's also projectile damage food as well and um, we will be looking into that um, at some point now we're into the i like to call the end game with tier four so we will be focusing a lot on our weaponry, on our arsenal and our armor and also all of the food buffs so we can go off, do all of those um, operations um, as effectively as possible and we can stay out for a little bit longer as well. So food is a massive, massive thing in this game and we will be going through that quite in, uh, in, in some depth I would say. 
um, possibly in Buka. I suppose you could call it the, the intermediate or the advanced part um, of the survival guide. So we've got the lone wolf um, and then we've obviously just gone for our health regeneration, health, stamina, um, moving quicker um, and again more food effects duration and weight capacity as well. So we're good to go um, in that guide. So we can hear old Ricky in the background going off. Um, talents wise, tier four, uh, we've got one point available. Um, and we've gone straight away for the Fabricator and the Trench Shotgun. Um, and we will also be moving down towards the Foundry at some point. But we need power, first of all, for that. And as you can see, nothing else has been um, unlocked in Tier 4. I did have um, 11 points in total of a surplus. And that all went over into Tier 3. Very important Tier 3 uh, to get you into Tier 4. So we've gone for the Canteen and the Oxygen Tank, which enables us to stay out for longer and when we come to do our um, arctic outpost as well we will be moving into the thermos as well now also because we've got our trench shotgun and we're moving towards the better armor we can think about the alterations bench at some point as well um, we do have the cement mixer and forge already going so we can craft our brick because that needed the advanced um, masonry bench for that one so we unlocked the cement mixer and forge and um, then we've also gone along the electronics already so using our massive stockpile of organic resin and epoxy that we've been um, making throughout this beginner guide if you've been following along you know that we had uh, quite a lot and we'll show you inside in a moment um, and the concrete furnace as well obviously so we can start making the and, and um, uh, smelting the higher tier metals Next, moving swiftly along, we've gone for the biofuel composter and the biofuel can so we can get our deep ores down as well. So that's um, moving nicely into the electronics age. And we've also gone for the biofuel water pump and water pipe tool in order to get our reinforced glass, which I will show you very, very soon and what we have done to the base. Recurve bow, we've also got and um, we have made that one already. We haven't gone for any of the arrows just yet and um, because the carbon arrows in my opinion are rather expensive um, to make um, and there's only a small difference with the actual damage um, and if you're on hard mode when the animals are tougher you might want to go down that route but we're just going to wait for the composite ones instead um, because we can craft a butt ton of composites and then just make 100 200 arrows um, when we are ready. So that is how I will be playing that. So we're just using the flint arrows for the moment. We've obviously had to unlock our ammo casing and our buckshot shell ready for the trench shotgun. Um, and we've got our advanced textiles bench as well because now we will be moving towards our cured leather set and our fur leather set as well um, ready for the arctic and indeed ready for the um, composite armor once we get to the electronic textiles bench as well and here is our stone brick set um, unlocked we need the advanced masonry bench for that so that's where the points have gone um, and that's where my talent points have gone also so been very very busy we did get a few levels but that's where the blueprints have gone and that's where the talents have gone uh, for how I like to start the game and as we turn around, um, I will be upgrading this as well to look similar to the base. Um, but as we turn around, we will go kaboom! I don't know why I did that. Um, here is our newly finished outside look of just the workshop area. It is not the overall finished base. We still need to put the living area here with our awesome kitchen um, and trophy room as well still to come. But this is how the current workshop is looking. Lots of stone brick and lots of glass, hence the use of the blueprint points for that. And this took a long, long time of getting the brick. And it annoyed me because if you go to Prometheus and you, you, you want to make the clay brick, getting the clay is very, very easy over on Prometheus. If you've got a miasmic sledgehammer, obviously you get a butt ton more of it as well. And over on Prometheus, one piece of clay will give you five clay bricks. And then you just need clay bricks and sap to actually make the walls and the pillars and so on. Here, it's three stone will give you one brick, which is ridiculous. The expense of making the stone brick in comparison to the clay brick, which is the same building tier 
It's just, there's no balance there, in my opinion. That was a fail. Um, and it's really quite frustrating. And along with that, you also then need screws, refined wood, um, to make all of the, the brick. And there's just it just doesn't work. I'm not sure why the brick, the stone brick, is so much more expensive to make than, than the clay brick. Uh, why it's three stone for one and one clay for five brick. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, as you can see, we still need to fix the top of our um, workshop out with clay, not clay, see you said in the brain, uh, with some stone brick um, roofing as well, um, but we'll we'll get on to that. Um, and basically, all I did to get to level 31 was this. I was mining the stone, we went off and did um, a load of felling of trees around here, um, we have also cleared out the cave here, here, here and here. They are all completely empty along with the cave here. So we've emptied out those because we've got the steel pickaxe. So in doing all of that, emptying those, just going around this bit here as well for oxide and sulfur and silica and doing all of our stone brick crafting and obviously the other busy work with making epoxy, tree sap, cured leather, doing all of that stuff in the background got us to level 31 relatively quickly. Um, and I will be mining these stones around here because they respawn every login. Um, to finish off the, the stone brick because we need to do the roof and then the bottom part of the house will be in stone brick as well. So a little bit of stone brick left. So we'll give you a quick uh, a quick tour. So we've got all stone brick uh, stairs. It looks smart, it looks neat. We've got our little patio area over here which will just have a table and a chair on it. And um, as we go around, this is still wood, but will be stone brick, our content device, which will be upgrading so we get the better operations. Three beehives on the go, because um, my wood here and wood that will be used um, for the stable over there is going to be the reinforced wood for which we need beeswax. So we've got three uh, beehives working away here. We've got the lovely forge out the back. We've got our fire out the back as well that's currently got some meat on it so we'll just um, grab some of that oh, we may as well grab it all um, and then we've got our drying rack and we've got our um, compost there as well this will be upgraded to the smoker at some point um just to make everything um you know a little bit more updated and there's our biofuel pump there um uh supplying water to our crafts tables inside Here's our biofuel composter, oxide dissolver with my filled up oxygen tank, which I'll now replace. And there we go, lovely jubbly. And this is the layout of the workshop. I really quite enjoy it. Um, the stone brick floor looks really nice and all of the glass obviously is letting in an awful lot of light which is super. Um, we have um, given ourselves one more concrete furnace. We'll be using these for a while, you see, um, because the electric one um, is necessary because you need that for um, making composites, but we won't be getting it for a while. So we've got two concrete furnaces on the go. Um, this is the salting bench and the kitchen bench. They need a, a well, the cooking station. They need a more specific place to go, uh, but that will be in the main house bit over there. Uh, we've got our machining bench and we've started making electronics and wiring already. Um, so all of that is um, good and on the go. And we've got, that is, yeah, that's it. So there's our glass working bench. As you can see, the water pipe down there. So we have reinforced. Um, and we've also got our um, connection, water connection here. So it speeds up the process. We've got a few bricks in there um, ready to go. We could probably not make many floors two <laughs> so we'll get those because we need all the flooring um, and as we head upstairs lovely little uh, staircase um, so we've got our textiles bit here herbalism bench they'll remain um, so when we get the chemistry bench and so on that will come up this bit as well um, along with the um, alterations bench as well that will come up here and we've got our um, we've got what well, I've got five wood cupboards at the minute with some bits and bobbins is in it as well so all that epoxy all our resin and um, that's going to be full of ingots when we start um 
smelting those up so we've got some titanium gold platinum copper who we need to go and get some iron as well um, and there is all of the like non metals but we take these out actually like that we do need to get our exotics sent up to the station as well and we've got some oxide there ready for our oxide dissolver so that is how it's looking um, the the plan to move forwards is to put a little fishing area out here and um, that's going to look really cool um, and then this area here will be used for the main living area which I've said with a trophy room, a kitchen, a dining room, you know all that um, cool jazzy stuff um, will be going over here. So that is what I have been doing um, between the last chapter and this area chapter and why it is called graduation because we have finished um, our main area of the base with the workshop and we have got to tier four so we are now no longer beginners well done we've all graduated we're moving on to the intermediate part or we could even say the advanced part um, of Icarus now as well with eventually getting the operations done with the upgrade to the um, contact device. I will just show you upstairs as well however. So we come up, still got my MXC cot, haven't made a, a bed yet. Um, this area will be left as it is, maybe put a, a painting or something here. Um, another area for another uh, table, some chairs looking out the lovely mountain and checking on our animals. And we can come up the top here to the rooftop where this is going to have the upgraded contact device will go here um, and the orbital exchange will go up here as well along with a load of solar panels as well so the solar panels will come up here um, and then we'll sort the wiring out um, for that to make it neater at some point that is the plan anyway if the wiring doesn't quite work out then we'll make something out on the lake where we can look at, put a cool little power station and then have the cables coming underneath as well. So we have that option um, available to us as well. Um, just need some more stone brick beams as well to go along. So still some bits to do, but just finishing touches. Um, so nothing too strenuous. Um, so I thought we'd just come on. Yeah, definitely needs to go across there, doesn't it? Yeah, to finish that off. Possibly up there. Possibly haven't decided so we'll mine up some stone and we'll get those pillars made and just do the the finishing touches get as many floors down as we can as well then we're going to take bill out with us and there's um, some mine two mines around here two big ish mines just around here we're going to go and um, clear out because we're on bill we can clear both of them out regardless of how big they are so we're going to go do all that come back to the uh to the lovely workshop get get it all smelting away um, and see how much we can progress um, on to that because i do want to start making the biofuel deep ores because what we have we have a copper just here we have a gold just here there's an iron in the cave over here and we have our sulfur one just over here as well um, which will be very very handy for all the gunpowder and we can also use sulfur and tree sap to make epoxy so one will be going on the sulfur to stockpile all of that copper one will be running most of the time um, and we did find another platinum one up here as well haven't found a titanium one yet so we will go exploring for a titanium one at some point so oh and of course we need to upgrade uh, this to the reinforced wood um, for the top part the pillars will be stone these will be reinforced um, like these ones here to match um, and we'll put possibly the brick down for the flooring as well but keeping the wood and the brick theme for their lovely uh, little stable okay so let's get this stone crafted this crafted mind we'll get the stone brick crafted and then we'll head down um, south all the way to this region I say all the way it won't take long for us to get there um, Bill's got some speed demon in him um, and we'll have a look at these two caves storm has passed and we were able to make a, a few of our roof pieces ceiling pieces for the workshop uh, just a few more to go that shouldn't take too long uh, to to make hopefully and um, so we'll just chuck the floors back in there we do not need those 
and we'll just get ready to uh, start our expedition down to those two caves. So we've got a bedroll in case we end up staying the night. We can easily craft a campfire whilst down there so we don't need to carry that. Extra water, healing, got all of our meds. We have our antibiotic tonic, plenty of arrows. We've got two pickaxes as well. We will just may as well give that a quick repair as well. Um, and then we are good to go. It is quarter to five in the PM. So we'll be going down um, tomorrow. So we'll just repair our uh, steel pick. Yeah, all this needs to be done for reinforced wood as well. So we'll just repair that, we'll wait out of the night, and then we will meet you at the first cave. So we have reached our first cave uh, just near the entrance of the Arctic biome. Um, just as a storm is about to hit, obviously, as well, uh, which is handy. So we're just going to bust our way in. And obviously, all of the stone will be going on the cart uh, to be taken with us to be turned into brick. So, Brucey bonus. We just need to make sure we've got enough room to get Bill in and out easily enough. Storm has only just started, so we are all right. And there we are through to the entrance. I think it could be quite a large one, this one. So, hopefully all the resources get as much stone as we can we may as well yeah it's around the the bottom bits here that uh, you'll get a scuppered on so just make sure it's nice and neat <laughs> if you've got OCD then uh, this is perfect for you I haven't heard any cave, wor cave worms pop up just yet so hopefully they're not at the beginning. Haven't made any um, of the anti-poison stuff yet. But I shall be. Uh, at the minute we've just got the antibiotics and the health tonics as well. Okay, how big are we looking? Well, we've got that in the way. Probably need to go a little bit higher. We don't mind taking our time so we can get Bill in. He's then safe from any wolves that are around. But also we, we need the stone. <laughs> so it's win-win. And it looks like we have shelter there as well anyway. So another win. There we go. And there's the first worm. Boom. Let's get all of our stone on Bill. And he can go on stay and passive good. We don't want him chasing after any uh, cave worms in here. That would be quite, quite frustrating. Alright. We'll just go in. Take him out first. Oh. And then we will clear it out of our goodies. And there's a deep ore there. I did stumble across another gold one as well. And this one looks to be gold as well. Yes. And bees. Okay. Best way for bees, as I've said, is with a spear because it has reach. If you don't have your spear, you can use your knife. But bows, guns, they, they don't work. you got to stab them. Right, queen. Okay, good. Have that back. Was that the last cave worm as well? That must be the last cave worm. No exotics in this one. That's a bit of a... Oh, no, don't want to drink it. All right. I think we are clear. Oh, yeah. exotics there. Perfect. So we've got quite a good one here. We've got uh, copper, iron, platinum. Oh, exotics. Uh, some more coal. Did I see any titanium? 
There's some titanium. So yeah, a bit of everything in this one. All right, so let's get to it. We'll start from we'll start from the back and work our way towards old Bill. All right, let's start at the top. Right, so there is the first cave cleared of all its goodies, um, and we've got quite a bit. We've almost half filled Bill, but looking at my light and first pickaxe as well, I think what we'll do is we'll go back to base, get some of this smelting up, um, refuel our lamp, repair the pick uh, the pickaxe because the the next two caves, um, I, I did find another one just here. Um, in around this location and just a little bit south of it here there 
just as big or if not bigger caves so i'm going to need a fresh light and a fresh pickaxe to go and get all of those so what we'll do is we will get home because we're not too far from home at the minute we'll just grab all of this lovely stuff outside uh, we'll get it smelting up and then we will head um, back in this direction to the cave number two of three which we'll be mining through today and then go see uh, what we can finish off at the base because with that iron we can uh, craft the advanced textiles bench and with this platinum we can make some more platinum sheath so we can make some more is that it hmm. we can make some more platinum weave so we could have our cured leather armor set which will be our main armor set until we get the composite uh, we will also make the fur armor for all of our arctic exploration as well and when we venture to the desert we'll be making the wayfarer as well so all that to to come looking forward to it and completing this olympus playthrough i'm really enjoying it um, and i was thinking oh, i may as well give you my two cents <laughs> um yesterday and, and the day before about the difficulty rating um, slash system that they have going on in Icarus and I I've said it before and I'll say it again I disagree I don't think Prometheus is the hardest now weather wise possibly because you know you've got the the volcanic region does have um, storms which will set everything on fire and the swamp also has um, there's a bit of sulfur over there and the swamp has you know, acid fog and acid rain and stuff which does destroy your armor and your base easier as well but that just means that you know you're prepping everything and um, take cover during a storm and get your buildings upgraded you have to do that regardless so i don't think that makes it any more difficult does it does it mean you need to get it done quicker yeah possibly but it's not more difficult um, the animals also they're not that much more difficult either because you don't attack from from melee in this game you want to do everything from ranged so you pimp yourself out with the hunting rifle trench shotgun explosive ammo you know you're, you're taking things out before they get to you so again the animals not that much difficult either um, so that's not even that's not more difficult now where Olympus and Styx are different is with all of the grinding and the gathering and the crafting of um, the little things like um, um, epoxy for example. Now on Prometheus you've got the miasmic tools which make the grind of mining and getting epoxy and cutting down trees a thing of the past because you get so much more with the use of those tools. Um, you get noxious crust with your mining, which means one noxious crust will give you five ores of whatever it is you have mined. So you go around, and we did this cave, for example. I won't need to do another cave for a very long time, but I'm having to go and do two more here on Olympus. And with the miasmic axe, you cut down two or three trees. You've got enough infected bark there for your entire epoxy needs and some. So that is even easier over on Prometheus as well. So I'm not sure just yet why Prometheus is deemed harder because the grind and the building and everything over on Olympus and Styx, in my opinion, it's not more difficult. Um, you know, the process is still fairly simple. It just takes longer to do than it does on uh, Prometheus. And I wish that would be something that they fix. Um, we'll just keep grabbing a load of sulfur while we can. Um, let me know what your, your thoughts are on that and with the difficulty rating. Um, having done both Olympus and Prometheus and Prometheus on hard, it's not that much more difficult you know, than, than what we're currently doing. Um, I would be very interested to, to hear your thoughts. Now, of course, we've got Prometheus Part 2 coming out in the next few weeks with the null sector which is supposed to be hard like hardcore mode um, and we will definitely 
be taking uh, an interlude from this series. Can't get all of that. And going over into the null sector to see what that is all about. Uh, but other than that, sorry, but it's just not that much more difficult. Uh, the hard mode as well. It just makes the animals tougher. Their perception greater. Um, it's not really that much more difficult. Food for thought. Should we have sliders like other survival games where we can tailor it to our gameplay and our game style and our ability and skill set? I don't know. There is a part of me that enjoys Icarus not having that, you know, so you can't up your harvesting yield five times, you know. Um, but just a few things would be good to change. Right, we'll grab this sulphur and... Uh, sorry to, to give a little bit of a rant there. But we'll just grab this sulphur and that silica behind us as well. Um, so we can get some glass crafting up. So I'm not using a concrete build. So all the silica can be used for our glass needs. So we'll get a load of glass crafting up as well. And then we'll head back to the cave. Okay, so stored up our other exotics the coal we got as well um, and the sulfur this sulfur will be used to make a load of epoxy a bit later on with some tree sap um, and also some gunpowder with charcoal ready for when we come to craft our trench shotgun um, and we've got down here cooking away we've got all of our um, silica for glass and the titanium platinum and aluminium in this one and in here we've got all of the, oh, we'll just grab that one, all of our copper and iron as well going in that one. So we're just going to let that go um, for the entire time <laughs> I'm playing today um, and get it all smelted up. So now what we need to do, just refill our lantern like so, head back to the forge. Pair our first pickaxe. So we've now got two pickaxes as well, um, just like we had before. Hopefully we won't come across uh, another um, wall because that will wear down our pickaxes, but hey-ho. Um, we'll just get the beehives on the go as well. We may as well. Okay, so all this can be working in the background um, and we will be upgrading our lovely beehives at some point as well. Uh, right, let's get some of this honeycomb in there. Like that. We've got some honey ready for mead as well. Mead is one that I like to, to have. Uh, that uh, basically does some of your stamina and it gives your food buffs as well extra duration. I think it's about 30% extra. So uh, well, well needed for when we come to do all of our food. Right. Um, lantern repaired, steel pickaxe repaired, food is okay, oxygen and water is okay. Bill just fed himself, he's on 94 and 97, um, but we can easily grab some pumpkins and whatever to, to top him up. Um, just give him a little, uh, a little pet and we've got water as well that we can give. Bill, should he need it? We did get level 32. All we've done is mining and we've got uh, another level. How many points available? We have two points available. Where did I say they were going to go? Uh, yes, so we need the food pyramid. Uh, this one is lasting food effects. And there we go. So now we've got our four food buffs that we can have you can have five when you put the stomach slot in your armor but i'll only be doing that on my uh, compound uh, composite armor anyway so now we've got the four we can start focusing more on our food uh, we have a solo talent as well um, and that shall go towards yeah we may as well make ourselves a bit quicker or we can go down and give ourselves some more damage which i think is the wise choice so only one in heavy hitter because we don't really do melee damage um, and then we'll need uh arrow and gun damage um to collect as well tech tree will leave for the minute there's nothing we uh, desperately need 
because of course we're going mining. Just looked at the time, quarter past five. Uh, we'll wait until the a.m. and uh, we'll, we'll go out again. En route to the next cave. Now looking at uh, the old Icarus Intel, which is a great website. Um, it can point you out where all the caves are. Um, and I don't mind using that at all. Some people prefer to go off and explore for them themselves. Um, but uh, sometimes it's nice just to see where one is because it can also help uh, with base location and, and, and things like that. Uh, and uh, according to that website, the next cave we're going to is a, a starred one. Now that's the like the ultimate cave, the biggest cave. Um, so that should be fun. And But also what we'll do again on the way back is there's quite a bit of silica that we've gone past already and we now need to start using silica for carbon fiber, carbon fiber paste as well um, and a little bit of concrete is needed for some of the crafting tables. Um, so we've got all the silica on the go that we've just collected making glass um, and now we will be using any silica gathered to make carbon fiber and a little bit of cement so we'll get some more on the way back let's just have a check on the map yeah not too far away and then we should be there it's probably down in down in there yes I imagine it is there's a mr. wolf we'll just uh, see what we can see is there a cave entrance down there? I wish I had my binoculars. Um, I love having them. Ah! I don't need the binoculars to see that. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's the starred one or the three one, but it could be opposite. So anyway, we are heading down in that direction. So we'll meet you down there. Um, actually saying that because I do love the binoculars so much um, I'm just gonna get them now uh, where are they and then we can get them crafted up yes there we go binoculars it's not a waste you will end up using them uh, I use them a lot on my um, Arctic survival playthrough uh, just for a bit of immersion and fun with the hunting and so on um, so we'll get those crafted up as well Right, well this is the cave we saw from the, the top of the cliff. So we will, shall venture in here. This isn't the starred one, I don't think. So we've still got another big cave as well. Close to us here. Oh wow. Okay, that is awesome. So we may need to make two trips. We've got this beast here. And this beast here that we need to get, we've got oxide around, we've got sulfur around, we've got silica as well we can grab. Awesome. Uh, we will likely get a couple of levels doing all of this as well. Um, let's just get Bill a bit closer in and we'll see what we've got. Right. Any worms? I say any worms, there will be. That's another copper. I can hear bees, I can see the bees. We'll go around this way, take them out. There's the bees. Uwe, le beehive. Hello. 
Alright, that's the hive taken care of. That's the bees taken care of. Did I just hear Bill? He can come a bit further in. Alright, come on lad, in you come, nice and safe. We haven't come across any worms yet. We'll just do a full scout around though. Uh, yeah, looking good. There's the the beehive. Oh, what I will do as well outside, I'll just go and grab some, make some ramps up as well for this one because this one looks rather large, and I might not be able to just jump my way around. Yes, up there for example. Right, so. No worms. Awesome. Um, will I need to around? Maybe one or two. We'll go and do one or two. And then I will mine from the front down towards Bill. Uh, and then we can clear out the front bit as well. And then the next day, I imagine, <laughs> we will uh, do that other cave. And there's Season Logsman, straight into your inventory. One of the best talents in the game, simply put. How many can I do? Two should be all right. We could just grab some more fiber though. And do another one. How much more wood? Okay, three's good. Right, well, what don't we need? Ah, we can check it all on Bill. That's why he's here. Okay, so I'm going to get to mining. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in a swift moment.
Alrighty, that is cave number two. Clear, I believe. Awesome. Right, let's load Bill up. Uh, yeah, we got a bit. I, I thought we would have got a little bit more. Um, but we'll just get rid of all of this stuff so we uh, don't need to keep filling Bill up so much. As in, I can mine more at one, part, one time. Um, I need... Yeah, I kind of want everything else. So we'll leave that in there. Okay. We'll get ourselves some of the silica and the bits and bobs out here. I did hear a horse as well, though. Maybe it's uh, further up top. We'll just get a load of this stuff as well. And then we'll go over into that next cave. We'll just check it out. If we are able to uh, to mine it, then we will. But if we need to go back to to base, we we will do that because it's not too far away. Come on. No, no, uh, no lovely poppy one on that one. Might put Bill on follow for this. Uh, now thinking as well, when we come to unlock the thumper and start uh, to regenerate some of our ores, if we just cleared this area out of trees um, and just put the thumper in the middle of these two caves, that would be awesome because there's so much uh, on the outside here as well. Uh, and that would be a really tricky, uh, as in a high-risk thumper location as well. So I think... We would definitely uh, do that at some point. Um, put the old thumper down here. Because this can serve all of our mining needs. Um, I say that, manual mining needs that uh, we may need. So, broken free. And we just took out some uh, cave worms. There may be more down here. Uh, it looks like quite a large um, cave, which is amazing. Um, we've brought Bill in as well, so he's nice and safe. We've got a storm outside, which is fine. Um, and if you look at our first pickaxe, that is almost gone just by getting the stone out of the way to get in the cave. So that's why when you're doing a big uh, mining run, just bring two pack. <laughs> just bring two pickaxes with you. So we'll just go a little bit further down, uh, check for some more. Uh, there's one. Uh, another one. We'll keep checking for some worms. So we, do, we don't really want them popping up whilst we're mining. Okay. There's probably going to be a couple more around the corner here. This looks like a very similar cave layout to uh, to one that's closer to the base. And yes, there is an iron deposit here as well in that one. So we've got a copy and paste mine. What's that? Oh, just a twig. Um, a copy and paste mine, so there'll be a couple more worms around here. Uh, but plenty to get, uh, to get mining with and to uh, fill Bill up with some uh, some goodies so we'll start at the top this time I think do as much as we can uh, I think yeah we'll do as much as we can down here uh, we should be able to, to fill the cart hopefully or we'll just go in until our pickaxes run out or until our lantern runs out and then uh, we'll head home
Okay, well that cave is done. Emptied out and the other one emptied out and the other one emptied out. So we've emptied out three caves and Bill is uh, encumbered, uh, to say the least, but he is also chocker. He is full up. So what we'll do is we'll just take a few off him so he's not walking slowly. Now the coal will be the heaviest. One, four, two, eight. Okay, so we can take a couple more bits off. There we go. So Bill is no longer encumbered. I'm not encumbered. I will put some more skills onto his strength. Um, where's that one? Uh, here, strong back, uh, weight capacity. So we'll put a bit more on there as well. We'll max that one out. Um, and then, Bill's looking, uh, looking pretty, pretty beastly. Now it's a lightning storm. It's 11 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna go and grab some bits for our campfire. Uh, Bill's got stone, so he needs fiber and sticks. No problem. Is that enough fiber? Yeah, and a stick. Let's put that down. And this is a, uh, a rather mean storm. And we've got bit more stickage. We've got wood for the actual fuel. So we'll just get inside, get the stone from Bill, make the campfire, sleep through the night, wait for the storm to pass and then head back home. Home sweet home and we have a full cart of ores to, to sort out. We have all the ore to sort out from the other cave as well. We have some structural damage to take care of um, so we can upgrade that to the stone brick now as well so that won't be a problem and, and we can start upgrading um, this one to the reinforced and the stone as well. So I am going to leave this um, graduation slash mining chapter here um, and when we come to the next chapter at uh, the intermediate slash advanced kind of stage of the ultimate survival guide we'll be crafting our fabricator and moving further into the tier 4 stuff um, we'll upgrade our infrasonic relay uh, no, we'll upgrade the contact device uh, by putting the infrasonic relay on it we'll then move it up top because it will look better and we'll start some of the operations so really looking forward to the next chapter thank you all for watching if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and really just go a long way comment down below on anything that you've you've seen any top tips anything i may have missed um, <laughs> anything at all. Uh, so thanks again all for watching and as always take care and we'll see you next time.